Dear friends of the Tom Photo channel and all new viewers, I mostly talk about Fuji and Nikon on my channel. Today the two are getting together because I'm reporting on using Nikon lenses with Fuji cameras. Why do I use Nikon lenses with Fuji cameras? This is a good question because I own a list of Fuji lenses and most of my Fuji lenses are optically superior to the Nikon lenses that I own. I'll admit it, Nikon lenses are cheaper in the quality range where I work. This is the primary reason. And they can be very bright as well. And the main reason for me to look in the direction of Nikon is to get a larger aperture than some of my Fujis offer. I could buy the Fuji versions, but I cannot buy everything. It gets expensive quickly. To start, let me show you my favorite bright lens, Fujinon XF 35mm f1.4. This is one Nikon cannot beat for me. I turn to this mother of Fuji X-mount lenses whenever I work in low light. I like it more and more every day. This lens is screaming amazing. Go out and buy it. Do yourself a favor. But what should I do when I need a longer focal length and wide open aperture at the same time? For this I have the Nikkar 50mm f1.8 G and D lens. I like to use these great and affordable lenses for close-ups and great bokeh, especially when making videos. I like the G more for my Nikon system, but the D is perfect fit for my Fuji because it also has a dedicated aperture ring unlike the G. The 50mm D has become a Fuji lens for me, while the G version sits in front of my Nikon cameras most of the time. If I wanted to use the G version with Fuji, I'd need a way to control its aperture with a lens adapter. Luckily, I have such adapter from KNF Concept. Please watch my video about it to see how this adapter controls the aperture of the Nikkar 50mm G. The link is below. In this video, I also offer a solution how to understand what f-stop value each click of the mount adapter corresponds to. By the way, all of the lenses, adapters and other gear I'm mentioning in this video have been reviewed by me before in separate videos. Link to all these videos are down in the text box, waiting for you to be checked out. There are 5 things you need to do to attach a Nikon lens to your Fuji X-mount camera. First, you need a lens mount adapter. I'm using KNF Concept adapters for their optimal quality and price ratio. Honestly, I don't think you need anything better but you may get away with cheaper options as well. But I cannot speak for all manufacturers. Secondly, you need to switch your camera to shooting without lens. If you want to use a lens manually, then the camera must not try to control the lens because it cannot. Thirdly, go to your Fuji menu and enter the focal length of your lens. This means that the value is inserted in the photo file and you may need it for your records. Also, the JPEG engine may use this info to try to correct for certain lens aberrations. This depends. Then you'll want to switch your camera to manual focusing. And the final thing you definitely want is to turn on the focus peaking of your camera. This is so great for manual lenses because the camera will show you in real time what parts of the scene are in focus. Such a nice way to do manual focusing. When all these steps are done, you can start shooting. I've run some tests where I use Nikon D3400 and Fuji X-T20 side by side with a Nikkar 50mm G lens. It is not possible to compare the color rendering because these two cameras deal with color quite differently. Likewise, it's a bit difficult to compare sharpness because automatic focusing is not possible with Fuji here. Then again, Fuji has more precise manual focusing thanks to focus peaking. To make the two cameras maximally similar, I have used Nikon with a normal color mode and Fuji with a standard color mode. The ISO was fixed and was the same for both cameras. The Nikon's active delighting was turned off and Fuji's dynamic range was set to 100% to make the photos easier to compare. Note that both the Fuji X-T20 and Nikon T3400 are 24 megapixel cameras without the low pass filters, so at least that was the same. I photograph from a tripod. At the pixel level, I'm not seeing differences in sharpness. The overall quality of the pictures seems the same to me. 
It is quite obvious how differently these cameras handle color. The Fuji seems somewhat richer, it uses more mid-tones it seems. It is difficult to say much about contrast, because in these photos I used automatic metering and the cameras were able to choose any shutter speed. Next I'm curious about the contrast and color of the Nikkar 50mm G lens compared to a native Fuji lens. I chose the Fujinon XF 18-55mm lens at 50mm focal length for comparison and the camera was Fuji X-T30 for both lenses. To understand the contrast, we now need to make ISO shutter speed and f-stop the same for both lenses. These example photos show that the Fuji XF 18-55 renders visibly higher contrast than the Nikkar 50mm G lens in front of a Fuji camera. Is the Nikkar 50mm lens's contrast inherently lower? This is quite surprising to me and I'd like to know if any of you have seen the same. But let's do one more experiment. Let's look at the same scenes I just showed you, now through the Nikkar 55mm G lens using Nikon D3400 and Fuji X-T30 cameras, but this time making sure that the ISO shutter speed and f-stop were exactly the same for both cameras. We see that with the same lens, Nikon renders the colors lighter than the Fuji, but more importantly, the Nikon photos seem to have higher contrast now. Does Nikon get more contrast out of this lens than Fuji does? Unfortunately, I'm missing the option to use Fuji lenses in front of Nikon to do all combinations of experiments. But based on what we've seen so far, I'd want to say that Nikon photos are nicer and higher contrast with the Nikkar 50mm lens than the Fuji pictures are with the same lens. At the same time, the Nikkar 50mm does not render the same amount of contrast with Fuji as for example the Fujinon XF 18-55mm lens does with the Fuji cameras. So according to my judgment, based on my limited experiments, Nikkar lenses work better with Nikon and Fujinon lenses work better with Fuji, at least when it comes to contrast and color. Both lenses and both cameras are very fine individually, but I've taken many amazing photos with a Nikkar 50mm lens when using Nikon and I've had many pictures with the same lens using Fuji that I did not like very much. This judgment is very qualitative, I know, but over a long time of usage, it eventually adds up in your head and your mind synthesizes some kind of a general pattern out of it all. As a result, I now use Nikkar with Nikon and Fujinon with Fuji when I can. I'm not super eager to mix them. I'm very curious to hear from you if your experience has been the same when crossing Fuji and Nikon and what you have noticed with these lenses and cameras. So this is my story. Nikon and Fuji work well together, but maybe even better when you don't mix them. If you consider subscribing to my channel or giving me a like, that would be perfect. Thank you very much and see you soon. Goodbye.